Hey guys, today we are gonna re be I'm gonna be teaching you how to make this Lego steam engine. This is my newest out of all the trains, and I think you might notice that why is this on a shelf with a bunch of movies? Because that's where all my other trains are. So yeah. Oh, and then my the rest of the trains are over there. So yeah. Let's get on with the video. Hey guys, so um, if you're wondering, what does LAL mean? This means loss in lines. So um, a bunch of the trains up here are at, at the, most of the trains up here are lost in lines. This bookend train's a loss in line. Um, that's a loss in line. That's a loss in line. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna turn that into a loss in line. That's a loss in line. That's a loss in line. That's also a loss in line. Uh, and that's a loss in line. And then, we have loss in line cars. So, this is a loss in line. Um, these are all loss in lines. Um, this is a loss in line, and this is a loss in line. Uh, and, yeah, and then all these are loss in lines. So really, most of the trains are loss in lines. So let's get on with this. So, um, we'll be building a, a lot a small loss in line steam engine consisting of only one car, a caboose, and steam engine. This will teach you how to build a steam engine, a a car of any type, and a caboose. So let's get on with this. So um uh, I'll dismantle these you know and put them in the places they should be like Okay, so first, um, I think we're going to start with the steam engine, and it's tender. So as you can see, now it's split into parts, so you'll need a 2 by a 2 by 8 a um, 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 2 by 14, a 2 by 4, and let's do this, and um, the Sharpie is if you want, and if you want, you could put Sharpie on these to where you have the train look, so, um, so the first thing you want to do is place the longer of these two bricks right there, so yeah, next, you put this two by two right there. Now, um, so then you'll need this piece, and it's the brick piece. You need to flip it to where it's just this side, where with the straight line, and you put it on there, so where it's facing outwards. And then you just grab a this little tile. Do that. And uh, then you'll need the exact same piece, but with just do the same thing. Make it face outwards, except the lines going towards the front. And then grab a piece like this. throw it on and you need a grill piece and throw it on right here next you'll need a funnel grab this put it up front and there's your little engine so now you need the tender so you need this 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 and this you just need um three more of these bricks and basically you have to do the same thing like in the engine so you'll have to grab the uh, 
a dark a I call it, I like to call it underwater sand color and a light gray. You put the light gray brick on there. Then um So then you would, uh, that's there. So you would put a, you would put one on the back, just flat, and then you need the jet to work. So boom. And then put two facing straight to where it's like this. So, yeah. As you can see, it should have lines all the way around. And then you would put that a stud back from the train. Now let's get on with this car. So let me dismantle it. And then this will actually teach you also how the put the trains can together. So here you will need these. Um, so what you'll need is this brick with the axle holder in there. Place it. Get two of those and place them on the side of two two by four tan bricks. Then get two light gray two by two bricks and put those on there. Mm -hmm. And then you'll need these bricks again, and do the same thing. Just make them um, face outwards with the line, uh, with the single line, and boom. So all your trains should have the single line. The reason you can't see the single line in this is because this black piece, the black T slope was is opposed to like that. So there's your car. So now the reason when you're making car trains. Um, if you have ever seen any of my videos, you will see the 2x3, or 2x4. It's because the 2x4, or 2x3, leaves a 2, leaves a 2x2 two two space. You put a 2x1x2 two by one, one by brick on there, and there should be a 1x2 space between all cars. The caboose is pretty easy. You just need a four by you just need a two by four. Okay. But in this case you want to use a two by three. Place that on the back. And if you have any questions like why is the back always covered up on caboose? Says, well, um, that's because I always, I like it that way. So then you would grab that, put a grill piece there, put another one of the brick pieces with the flat. Then you would need a two by two, a one by two. You can use any color, it just has the matches. So since this is light gray and dark gray, I'm putting a dark gray up there. And then you'll need a light gray jumpers. Do that. And doom. Mostly you can put a flat piece there instead of jumpers and it'll be the same. And, and But I think the grill piece with the jumpers looks better. So yeah. So there. That's your miniature train basically. Um, so if, like and subscribe. Comment for more. I'll see you guys later. But dun dun da 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 da